Imagine being on the forefront of a digital gold rush and then you're digging in the wrong place. Well, my friends, the map to the treasure is in this video. Either you're just starting out in the online world or you're deciding which business to choose, this video is for you. Because we're about to reveal the secrets of the online muggles that make tons of money and the pitfalls you should avoid. For those who don't know what an SMMA is, it's a social media marketing agency where you help other clients get more customers by doing their social media marketing. Now let's start with a simple question. Why starting a social media marketing agency over all other online businesses? First, you don't need any type of initial investment to start this business. All you really need is a computer, a phone, and an internet connection. Second thing is you don't need any team building skills, any sales, marketing, because you will learn that along the way as you are building a social media marketing agency. Compared to other online businesses, you need a little bit of money upfront to you know, put up your ads, get your products and get your store up and running. And then you also need a little bit of skills on marketing and sales to make sure that store or that dropshipping store runs successfully. With the social media marketing agency, not only that you're gonna make money because the clients are gonna be paying you for delivering your marketing services for them and get them clients, but you're also gonna learn the art of marketing and sales, which is essential for any type of business in the future. In other words, you're getting paid to learn the number one skill in the world, which is marketing and sales. Once you master the skills of marketing and sales, you can pretty much win at any business. Because let's be honest, what's the number one reason why most businesses fail? The number one is because of cash flow. The reason they're not able to get enough cash flow is because they're not able to get enough clients and sales. And why can't they get enough clients and sales? Because they don't know how to do enough marketing. Now let's talk about the rise of an SMMA. When I first started my social media marketing agency, I actually had a dropshipping store before that on online business, but it failed miserably. And the reason it failed was because I did not know how to do marketing. I was not able to market my products. I wasn't able to run ads profitably where I was making more money than I was paying, for example, Facebook and Instagram. And at the time I thought about what do I need to learn? What skill do I need to learn to make my store profitable and to make sure that I'm getting sales? And the number one skill that I knew at that time was marketing. And in the next like four, five, six months, I would deep dived into everything about social media marketing. And as I was learning more and more about it, how to run ads, how to do the marketing, how to do copywriting, all those things, I realized how much of a help this can be to other businesses. And of course, in the digital world that we live in, everyone is trying to start an online business, but no one knows how to do marketing. And that's where I found my golden idea of starting a social media marketing agency. Because everyone else is starting a business, but they don't know how to do marketing. And if I can do the marketing and just go in there and get them the sales that are required for them to run a successful business, then I can just get paid a portion of that. And that's exactly what we do now. We work with dental clinics all over North America. We actually have 153 clients and we simply do marketing for them to get them more patients and in return they pay us a monthly fee every single month and the best part is I didn't have to make some crazy initial big investments all I really had was my laptop my phone and the internet connection and of course the hard work and the grit is required for you to build your clientele up and get those clients for your marketing agency as you are scaling your social media marketing agency it also becomes a lot more profitable and the simple reason you don't have a lot of overhead as you scale to more clients it doesn't mean you need to store more inventory you need to buy more warehouses or what are the cases you may only need to get a few media managers to make sure that the ads are running properly most marketing agencies run at about 40 to 50 percent profit margin in fact i believe our marketing agency is running at about 50 to 60 profit margin at doing $200,000 per month. And we have over 20 team members at this time. So now not only that this business generates lots of money, but it also has taught me the number one skill 
of marketing and sales. Now look at all of the other online entrepreneurs that you know about. Most of them have started with a social media marketing agency. Let's take the goat right now of marketing in the online world, Alex Ramosi. He is probably one of the most followed marketers as of right now and probably one of the followed influencer as far as the online marketing world goes or even the online world in general. He had first started, you know, gym launch. He was launching his own gyms, but then he started doing that for other gyms, which was then his social media marketing agency where he would go market for the gyms and then bring them lots of new members and then help them close them everything like that. And then he actually started teaching other gyms how to do their own social media marketing because he had mastered that skill. And now I think he has a net worth of over a hundred million dollars all because he mastered one number one skill of marketing and sales. Another example is Gary V. He also has a marketing agency that he helps other clients get more customers for their businesses as well. And now, as you can see, he is also a really big online influencer simply because he knows how to do marketing and he's able to get people like us to follow him because of those reasons. So with the social media marketing agency, not only that you can make a lot of money, but you can also learn the number one skill that is required to run any business in the future. Now let's switch gears and talk about the crash of dropshipping. For those who don't know what dropshipping is, it's simply where you set up an online store and you're pretty much the middleman between the customer and the manufacturer. Manufactures the product, ships them directly to the customer that buys from your online store. The number one challenge I feel like for most dropshippers or e-commerce store owners is competition. Your number one competitor is Amazon. Amazon is pretty much an online e-commerce store where you can pretty much buy any type of product. So when you're starting your dropshipping store or your e-commerce business, you're pretty much competing against one of the most competitive and best online business in the world, which is Amazon. And of course, how can we compete with Amazon? We literally order a product and it comes to us the next day. Compared to the shipping times with the drop shipping, it's anywhere from seven to 14 days. And believe me, customers nowadays are not willing to wait seven to 14 days for their items to arrive. Talking of competition, there's already a lot of competition in the e-commerce and the drop shipping world. And how that affects you is when you're running Facebook and Instagram ads. Now, the more online stores there are, the more dropshipping stores there are, the more ads are on Facebook and Instagram for them to, of course, get more sales. Now, the more ads that are on Facebook and Instagram for these dropshipping e-commerce stores, the more you're gonna have to get creative to beat those ads and then make a profit as well. So now, not only that you're competing with online businesses like Amazon, but you're also competing with online other e-commerce or dropshippers that already have lots of money to invest into marketing, testing new ads, testing new creatives, shooting new videos, and all the other things that are required for you to successfully sell your products online. And of course, ad costs are rising as well. So not only is advertising competitive as to being more creative, but you also need to spend more to acquire a customer as well. The number one comparison is of course profitability. Now when you start a dropshipping store, there's a lot of things you need to have in place before you launch your store. You first, you need to set up your store, you need to have copywriters, you need to have video or even graphic designers to make sure your products and everything look nice. You need to make sure the copy is on point for people to come and buy that product. And then you also need to know how to run Facebook and Instagram ads profitably to get those clients to come in and buy your product. Now, imagine how much money you have to go through to test and trial run exactly what is the perfect ad copy, what is the perfect image for your product, what is the perfect ad, and all those things in between for you to initially get your first sale. With a dropshipping store, when you're starting out, you need a few of these things in place before you make your first sale. 
the number one thing is you need to find your product and that of course is going to take a little bit of time a little bit of communicating with our supplier and so on and so on and getting your winning product that you know will sell then you need to set up your store and this takes a lot of work you need to know how to set up the products how to set up the images how to write the ad copy or the copy on the product itself for it to sell and then you're gonna have to learn how to run Facebook and Instagram ads in a profitable way where you're actually making more than you're spending on ads. Now, imagine how much trial and error you have to go through to figure out the perfect formula for you to get consistent sales where you're actually making a profit. You're gonna have to test lots of ad copies. You're gonna have to pay copywriters. You're gonna have to learn how to run Facebook and Instagram ads. You're gonna have to make sure you learn how to run it profitably to make sure that you're actually making money and not losing. And of course, with any types of advertising, you need to test a little bit to see what works and what doesn't work. And the shitty thing about that is when you don't have any money to start off with, you can't afford to lose money on testing ads that aren't even making you any money. Compared to the social media marketing agency model where you're simply just reaching out to a client saying, hey, I want you to pay me $1,000 per month. I will do your social media marketing and get you the most amount of customers as possible. All you have to do is pay me $1,000 and cover $1,000 for ad spend. I'll do all the legwork. I'll set up your ads. I'll do everything in between to get you customers in the door. Now, how much money did you spend to make that happen? Almost zero. You can literally pick up your phone, call the business owner, tell him and sell him on your service of saying that I'm gonna get you customers, all you have to do is pay me a thousand dollars. You made 100% of the money and you spent nothing before you made that. So pretty much you're 100% profitable right out of the gate. Now, what about scaling? You know, as we scale, our expenses do grow. If I'm scaling my social media marketing agency, what do I really need? I only need more people to fulfill the service that I'm selling to my clients. Let's say, for example, I'm doing Facebook and Instagram ads for my clients. All I need is someone to help me build Facebook and Instagram ads and a landing page. Let's say I hire someone from the Philippines. I can easily pay them four to five dollars an hour. Now, of course, as every business scales, the profit decreases. Let's talk about scaling a dropshipping store. In order to scale a dropshipping store, you're pretty much scaling your ads, which is on Facebook and Instagram. Now, as I'm a marketer now, I've probably spent well over a million dollars on Facebook and Instagram. As you spend more on Facebook and Instagram, your cost per sale will begin to rise. So every time you're spending more on your ads because you're trying to scale, your cost per sale will rise, which in return will decrease your profit margins. The second thing is the skills required to run these businesses. Now let's compare the skills required for both of these businesses. The skills required for a dropshipping store is a lot more than an SMA, I believe. When you are starting a dropshipping store, you're gonna have to know a few things. Number one thing is you have to be good at finding a winning product. What product can you sell that will ensure that you're able to make a lot of sales? Second thing is you're gonna have to learn how to actually design and create a dropshipping store. How are you gonna build that store, the, the writing, the copy, the images, and everything in between. Third thing you're gonna have to know is how to run successful Facebook and Instagram ads in a profitable way and also scale them to make more money in the future as well. Those are the skills that are required to run a successful dropshipping store. Now let's talk about the skills that are required for a social media marketing agency. Now that I'm looking back and I'm thinking what skills did I have when I started? Not much. I did not know how to run Facebook ads. I did not know how to build landing pages. I did not really know how to do any of the online stuff. All I knew that there was something called a social media marketing agency. And what you do is you sign up a client and you'd run ads for them. And that's all I knew. So what I did is I reached out to my circle of business owners that I know of. 
And at that time, I was getting a haircut when I was like, wow, the, this barber is a business owner. Let me just try talking to him. And of course, it's my barber, they have trust with me. And he gave me my initial meeting for me to talk about how I can do social media marketing to get them more customers in the door. Again, with no prior sales experience, I bought a course online to start a social media marketing agency. And in that course, I learned a little bit about how to close a client, a little bit about how to do Facebook and Instagram ads. And all I simply did was went up to the client, went through my script. I actually showed him, hey, I'm just gonna go through the script. Is that fine with you? I went through my script and I closed that client for $1,000. But long story short, you know, I did a little bit of marketing for him. I brought in a videographer to shoot a video. I ran some Facebook and Instagram ads, but it did not really work and he didn't make a lot of money. Now, of course, he did not make his money back, but as a business owner, everyone takes risk and he knew that was a risk for him. I still made my thousand dollars, plus I learned how to do the initial Facebook and Instagram ads. Even though that was a failed venture where I wasn't able to retain that client, I still got my initial win of me setting up Facebook and Instagram ads and getting him one to two clients that month. So now not only that I made a thousand dollars, but I was one step closer of learning the skills of marketing by spending someone else's money, not mine. The third thing is longevity and sustainability. With a social media marketing agency, I wouldn't say that it has a really big longevity or sustainability in there. But I can say that you will learn the initial skills to create any business in the future that will be sustainable and it will be scalable. So the reason a social media marketing agency is hard to sustain over like years of 10, 20, 30 years is simply because it changes way too fast. So when you're, you know, running your social media marketing agency, you need to be always in front of the curve to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing in the online marketing world to make sure that your clients are getting results. Recently, we found out videos work really well for our clients. So we're running video ads for all of our clients, but sooner or later, in 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now, that is eventually gonna fail. There may be some other type of technology that comes in the future that will completely change because of how fast the industry is moving. Now, of course, if you stay in innovation and you keep innovating in your marketing agency, you will be able to sustain it for years to come. But as soon as you stop innovating, your agency will run to the ground simply because the online marketing world changes very fast. But then that goes same for an online e-commerce or a dropshipping store. When we're running ads online, we're running these products and things like that, they will eventually fatigue and newer things will come out. And then again, you need to be innovative and making sure that you're always staying beyond the curve to make sure you don't fall behind and fail. The fourth thing is adaptability, meaning how fast you're able to pivot and change if things arise. So for example, COVID hit a few years ago and I actually had started my online social media marketing agency and that's when I had that barber client and I had another orthodontic client as well. But as soon as that all hit, everything was closed down for like three to four months. But because I kind of knew marketing and sales, I was still able to make some money. What I did at that point, because all business was shut down, I made an ad on Facebook and Instagram saying, hey, if your business is shut down right now, that doesn't mean you just sit at home. You can learn the skill of doing social media marketing for your own business. So when you start up, you're able to get more clients. And because everyone was at home, they were willing to learn that skill. And at that time, I sold a course to other business owners on how to do their own social media marketing. Now let's talk about the adaptability of a dropshipping store if something like this happens. I remember that time, those two, three months, the whole world was pretty much shut down. There was no shipments coming through. Everything was pretty much on a pause. So if you're shipping and all the warehouses are closed down, then how are you possibly able to ship your products? You pretty much have to shut your store down in those situations. 
compared to me, I was easily able to pivot simply because I knew how to do social media marketing. Now let's touch a little bit of the future of both of these business models. Now with the social media marketing agency, it is never ending to how much money you can make in the future. There's always gonna be new trends, new platform that you can do marketing on to get your clients new customers. All you have to do is make sure that you're always innovating and catching up on these new trends to make sure you're there early and not too late. And let's say you do want to pivot or do something else after your social media marketing agency. Well, now my friend, you have those skills to start any type of business in the future because you know the art of marketing, sales, even team building and actually scaling a real business. So when you start any other business venture in the world, you're able to know exactly how to get yourself clients, how to close those clients, and then making sure that your team is there to fulfill them. So now my friend, the choice is yours. Would you want to start a business where you need initial investment, you need to find a winning product, you need to find copywriters and graphic designers to make sure the product looks good on your website and maybe even learn how to build a website or have someone build it for you and then being able to successfully run those Facebook and Instagram ads profitably using your own money to make sure that store is profitable. That's one option. Second option is starting a social media marketing agency where you need no money, no team, no experience where you're simply just reaching out to a client saying that you're gonna do marketing for them and just collect your monthly fee to deliver those customers, which one would you think would be best for most of you young entrepreneurs? For me, when I had no experience, no money, the number one opportunity I saw was starting a social media marketing agency. And I can tell you today that this was the number one skill that I chose. Because if I go into any type of business at this moment, I know I have the ability to bring in more clients because I know the art of marketing and sales. And plus, at the stage that we're at right now, we have 153 clients. I have 23 other team members that are professional copywriters, professional media managers, professional graphic designers, video editors, and the whole team that's required to run a successful business. So if I want to open up any type of dropshipping store now, I have all of the money required, I have all the skills required, and I have a team to help me build that store. Now I want you guys to leave a comment below and tell me your thoughts on what business model you would think would be the best for you to start and I'll reply and give you my insight as well. If you found this video helpful, please like, smash that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.